Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Moses here, returning back uh, to my channel, which I haven't uh, uh, been active as of late. Um, the reason being for that mainly is that a lot of the videos, actually all of the videos you've seen, are uh, videos I've done for my master's in education, which I'm taking uh, by distance. I'm currently, and just a little bit about myself, uh, which I didn't really talk too much about in my videos. Uh, so I'm an English teacher. I'm based out of Okinawa, Japan. I've been living here for over uh, four years. Well, no, just about four years now. And if you could just, you could see this picture in the background here. This is actually a beautiful picture I took with one of my old iPhones. Uh, and that is not on the island that I am living on. Okinawa is a set of many different islands, if you're not aware of that. Uh, this is that this picture is taken on Ishigaki Island, and I'm actually on uh, Hantojima. Jima means island in Japanese. So uh, today for this video, I'm going to be going over two books that I think are very useful for teachers uh, who for future teachers or current teachers to refer to and uh, I'm only going to look at two books these are books that I've I've studied uh, that were requ required readings for my uh, masters and I think they're highly useful there are other books that I have here if you go on my Kindle there are a bunch of other books However, uh, some of these uh, books are re regarding evaluation. Actually, that's my textbook, which is actually a, a good one if you're considering um, evaluation. I don't know. Let's see. Can you, oh, there we go. Video of myself. So this is a good textbook if you're looking into program evaluation. However, uh, I'm going to be talking about textbooks uh, that are more concerned about just teachers specifically and, and what they go through. And there's, again, some other books here. Uh, this book here by uh, John W. Creswell. Uh, this book is very good for individuals who are going into research, right? Uh, individuals doing their masters as well as their PhDs. It, it goes step by step explaining qualitative and quantitative as well as mixed methods and how to conduct and how to conduct them but uh, that doesn't really concern generally most teachers uh, most teachers would be more concerned with uh, action research and this is a really good book uh, I highly recommend it um, for teachers who are interested in doing some of their own research but doing research, not doing research for their own gain. Uh, basically, evaluating, evaluating whether or not your teaching is effective, and if not, or if it's not effective as it should be, how can you improve it? So it's it's evaluating your how you evaluate your own teaching. Um, so this is a, a very uh, qualitative approach. Uh, however, you can use quantitative data. You can create surveys for your students in class, etc. But uh, that's that's essentially why it's called action research because you are part of the research yourself. As the researcher, you are a participant uh, during the process of of uh, collecting data. So anyways, I won't go into much detail. I do highly recommend this. It does uh, it does talk, it is similar to the other textbook, looking at qualitative and quantitative and conducting how to conduct the different types of research as well as, you know, it goes into choosing literature and identifying participants and creating timelines and looking at ethics. It does go into that, but it's got more of a focus uh, that is more useful uh, to uh, teachers' day-to-day -day concerns regarding their their teaching and whether or not uh, there needs to be a change, it can also be looked at uh, 
programs at your uh, school as well. So I won't go in too much detail about this book. Other than that, we are going to look at uh, the next one I highly recommend. Um, very useful is testing for language te teachers. Uh, and I, again, sorry, I, I should have mentioned earlier, my focus is uh, for language. I teach English in Japan. So this would not be as useful for teachers who are teaching mathematics or the natural sciences, for example. Okay. However, there is some uh, useful principles that you can find in this textbook. So if we go in table and contents, it does talk about how to create a valid test. It looks at validity and reliability, which is important, especially when you're creating standardized testing. Very important, as well as backwash, the effect it has on um, teachers teaching. How how does it affect uh, how does it affect your teaching as a teacher? And it goes through the stages of test development and common test techniques, of course, you know, fill in the blank, multiple choice, some of the ones that you're probably well known, uh, that are very well known. And then it actually looks at the different uh, skills and language development, such as writing, uh, oral ability, speaking, reading and listening. And it's got a little tidbit in here for young learners, which is also very useful, and as, as well as auxiliary uh focus on grammar and vocabulary which grammar and vocabulary can be f uh, also assessed in reading so with that i am going to end the video because i i don't want to go in uh, i don't want to make this too long but uh, thank you for watching and i also if for those who are interested I will be starting another channel about life in Okinawa as well as uh, in Japan and kind of like a video, if you so to speak, like a video journal uh, vlogging uh, my experiences uh, that I've had throughout, throughout the years and some interesting, unique places to go to in Okinawa. So with that, I say thank you and talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe if need be. Thanks.